Hello, Naser. I'm just now looking at this email and I'm looking at the assignment. Uh, there was one mistake in here. You wrote up the actual ANOVA part pretty well. Ta -ta 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 -ta. But if this is important. So if your F score is not large enough to give you a P value of less than 0.05, that means that you did not get enough evidence to reject the null. In other words, you did not prove that there was a significant difference between the ages. So that, that first part's right, right? There is, this is not, there is no significant difference between the age groups. So if that is the case, there is no significant difference, you would never run a post hoc, okay? So this part is wrong. So remember that if you do not have a, if you don't don't have a significant difference, if your p value is not less than 0.05, then you do not run a post hoc test. Okay, so that's all there is to that. Okay, so now I'm looking at your t test assignments. You got the stuff right, da, 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 except for you the p value, according to the chart down here. The p-value should have been 0 0.048, and you got 0 0.086, so it should have been 0 0.048. Be careful when you write this stuff down, okay? But everything else looks pretty good, correct. And the bottom one is you did good, right? Right, you, you, did, you did the t-test correctly, you got the right p-value. So there was a significant difference in the first one, there was not in the second one. But the way you word it, in other words, the data indicates that the management behavior is different than employees. You got to be careful about that. What we're really trying to say here is if there's a significant difference in employee scores over management scores. So a better way to put it would have been, in other words, the data indicates that there was no significant difference between the management scores and the employee scores, something like that. And the same with down here. Right there. In other words, there was the data indicated that there uh, was no significant difference between the levels of the executives and the management. And this one up here was there was a significant difference between the employees and the management. Okay, so try to use that when describing your data. Right? Was there a significant difference or not in whatever the DV was? So that's it. Okay, and here's the final example about the paired t-test. Uh, again, you get the data right. Da, 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 da. So the p-value was greater than 0.05. You might have worded it better. So here's a suggestion. It, it should have gone like this. In other words, the data indicated that the motivational therapy, motivational speaker, was not effective in increasing the number of car sales. Something like that. And in your second one, okay, the paired C sample, T sample, ba, 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 there was a significant difference, right? So this one, you could have said something that the data indicated that the new bonus system was effective at increasing the number of car sales, something like that. But most of it looks really, really good. So thank you. Hope this helps.